and back on WCW Worldwide, I have joined Iron Mike today here in the arena. Where it's wherever Heenan went to, I asked him to come out here with us. I think he's back in catering again. Have we lost the brain? I'm guessing so. It must be banana pudding night. Cruiserweight night here on WCW Not Worldwide. Couldn't read my notes. Thought it was banana pudding night. Jumbo Guerrero Jr. on his way to the ring. Are you all right? Boy, I'm just off fine, but, over there. but Chavo Jr., he's had some problems with other members of the Filthy Animals as of late. It looks like they've got all their problems now put to the side. He's going to face Kaz Hayashi, a young man who recently at Fall Brawl had an opportunity to take that World Cruiserweight title away from Lenny. Props it to Kaz Hayashi in that matchup. Very close on several occasions to winning that cruiserweight gold, but as we all know, Lenny remains the champ. Well, as we saw in the highlight package from Fall Brawl, and if you saw that pay-per-view extravaganza from Winston-Salem, Kaz Hayashi certainly did himself no disservice in his performance against the cruiserweight champion on pay-per-view. What a fantastic match that was, and once again, the West Hollywood Blonde helping each other out, and they come out on top by hook or by crook. I think if nothing else, Kaz Hayashi proved to the world that he belongs at that championship level when it comes to the cruiserweights in that matchup at Fall Brawl. Reversal counter, but Chavo one to the gut. Slow down, escape, go behind, waist lock, back elbow. This is wildly. Look at that suplex, almost a northern leg from Kaz Hayashi. Chavo up top, oh, oh, cut him off the clothesline. And I think the winner of this match is going to go a long way towards getting a shot at Lenny in the Cruiserweight title. Bravo Guerrero Jr., you mentioned earlier, and I'll ask you, I didn't know, is he officially a member of the Filthy Animals now? Well, I don't believe so, and I think that may be part of the problem between Chavo and, of course, Eddie Guerrero, Rey Mysterio Jr., Kidman, and Conan. Well, we know that Eddie Guerrero and nephew Chavo Guerrero Jr., they've had their problems in the past. It looked like everything was settled, but I tell you what, Chavo Guerrero Jr. is such a hothead, I'm not surprised problem crept up again. Yeah, I guess there was some sense of surprise when friction resurfaced between Chavo and Eddie, but when you think back to their history, you're right, I guess it does make sense. Kazuyashi looking good here on Worldwide. The youngster, a lot of people predict great things for this young athlete and on a recent edition of WCW Live on WCW.com with Jeremy Borash and Bob Ryder, I mentioned that Kaz Soyashi was someone I want to keep my eye on. Someone like maybe a great Muda who made a name for himself here in the United States before going back to Japan where he is now a superstar. Hayashi may be in that same boat. And I think that many people consider Kaz Hayashi almost as a rookie because he's been in World Championship Wrestling for the better part of a year. But what they fail to realize is before coming to the state with WCW, he wrestled extensively for probably four or five years in the Orient. Oh, what a big fly drop kick! And he caught Chavo Jr. directly in the face. That may do it. Pick up what you thought, Mike, about Hayashi's career prior to WCW. Wrestled extensively throughout Japan, and maybe the most interesting note is that he wore a mask in Japan and decided when he came to WCW to take the mask off, wrestle under his real name of Kaz Hayashi, and I guess just forge a new identity with World Championship Wrestling. And what a great degree of success he's had here, not to sell Tavo Guerrero Jr. short. Third generation competitor. Now fighting up, out of the modified sleeper hold, back elbows, oh man, the right hand rock Hayashi, drop kick, miss wildly, tilt the world backbreaker, from Guerrero on Hayashi, and Hayashi's in some kind of pain, Guerrero misses the lariat, head scissors, Whoa! takeover from Kaz Hayashi, great snap to that move by Kaz Hayashi, can he follow it up, that's the key, measuring him, look at that, and Zagiri, Quickly over, hooks the far leg, lateral press, I thought that may have been it, but no, combo, out at two. That was really a phenomenal Enzigiri kick. How did he get that angle to where he still caught Chavo Jr. in the back of the head? Just amazing. Tremendous agility and great balance displayed by both athletes in this matchup. Now Chavo rocking Hayashi with the right hand, then a nice head cut, back it into the rope, a forearm to the back of the head. Now Chavo, European uppercut, rattles Hayashi. Reversal, Chavo into the rope, up top, shoulder high, no, Tornado DDT, he hit him out of nowhere, and that's a three count, wow, and that was the key to the success 
of Chavo Jr., the surprise factor. Hayashi never saw that move coming, and it was executed to perfection. Let's take another look at it. It's our 10 10 3 2 1 replay. 10 10 3 2 1. Dial it and save up to 50%. Take it away, Mike. Chavo Jr. takes a major step towards a shot at the Cruiserweight title. The Tornado DDT, the float over the hook of the leg in the three count. In our 10 10 3 2 1 replay, now a special look at the revolution. <laughs> 